Building and maintaining optimized tables in Amazon Athena can be challenging. In this video, we'll show you how Upsolver makes this process really simple. We'll start by connecting our Kafka topic to Upsolver. As we'll see, this is done in Upsolver visual interface and without writing code. This can be done in the Data Sources tab in Upsolver. I'm going to select Kafka from the list. Upsolver is not able to auto-detect the format of the records in the Kafka topic because we use Confluent Schema Registry to write AVA records to the topic, which are not self-describing. We'll change the content format to AVRO with Schema Registry and continue. Right after creating the data source, Upsolver takes me to the data source exploration page. As we can see, Upsolver automatically maintains a schema of your data. Upsolver will automatically adjust the schema according to changes in the data over time. On this page, we can see events over time in the data source and statistical information about the fields in the stream. For example, if we click on the Lang field, we can see the distribution of the values in the data ingested to Upsolver so far. We would like to create an Athena table containing several fields and partition it by language to optimize query performance. I'll click on Add Output and then choose Amazon Athena from the list. Because Upsolver has automatically generated schema and statistics for our data source, it's easy to map this data into an Athena table without making mistakes along the way. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll simply select the fields that we want to write to our table. We can see that the value distribution for the country field contains localized values. Let's choose the country code field instead. Now we'll select the field which we're going to use to partition the table. This will improve performance when querying the table on a specific language. Now that we've built this schema, we can preview the table that will be created before actually writing any data. Looks good, let's run the output. Next, we'll choose a location on S3 where the data will be stored and fill out the Athena table details. Upsolver will create the Athena table using Glue Catalog and will create a job that maintains the files in S3 and the partitions of the table in Glue Catalog. The job is now reading the historical data from the data source and writing parquet files for Athena. These files are optimized to provide high query performance. Over time, Upsolver will detect partitions that are not optimized for querying and will optimize them by combining small files within the partition to one file. This process is known as compaction. Now that we've deployed, our data is ready to be queried in Athena. Let's take a look at the table in Athena. We can also view the partitions in Glue Catalog and see that Upsolver has created a partition for language fields. Now we're going to see how we can easily modify the table created by Upsolver. For example, we can add an additional field to the table. You can see that we created a draft where we can edit the structure of the table while the job is still running in the background. Let's add the fields to the schema mapping. As you can see, there's a new warning at the top of the schema. This is because the followers count field is a numeric field and Athena needs to know the specific type of field. We can choose a big int in the field types or dismiss the warning. Now that we've added our field, we'll deploy the new version of the schema. Upsolver lets you either modify the data of the current table or create an entirely new table instead of the current one. Because this operation may alter your production data, Upsolver shows us this warning. Let's check the table schema again. We can see that the new column has been added to the table. In this video, we've seen how you can use Upsolver to easily ingest data from Kinesis and create a partitioned Athena table which stays optimized over time. While creating the table, Upsolver gives us insights into our data and helps us to avoid mistakes. 
We've also seen how we can easily and safely alter the schema of the table on the fly.